In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join Join Apostle Apostle Joshua Joshua Selman of Eternity Network Network International International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia.
Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every time in His presence is a time of encounter with wisdom, time of encounter with grace, time of encounter with power. There's no wasted time in His presence. For every time we encounter his word and we understand it and we obtain grace to apply it, then we walk in the experience of dominion. That reality that has been promised the saints in light. Hallelujah. There are a number of things we've been examining this year that I really want us to pay attention to. God has declared by his spirit that this is for us a year of triumph but not just because he said so um, I think that many of us are already at the breaking points in our lives um, just a push just a little spiritual intelligence and people will begin to explode in power in grace in wealth and so for me, I am committed to helping us understand the systems of the kingdom. And, um, oh, by the way, we apologize for the inconsistencies here and there. Let it not distract you. God is still making you, building you, and doing something remarkable in your life. Can you pray a personal prayer for yourself and say, Lord, no distraction. My spirit is glued to you. My ears are open. My mind is prepared to be transformed. You will answer questions. Your words carry spirits. They carry life. So I submit my spirit tonight to receive. This is how we rise in the kingdom. I am here tonight to gain understanding. Give me an advantage. Let your word grant me access. Let your word provide for me tonight an advantage. Please pray. Pray for yourself. Lord, no distraction. What I did not get before I received the grace to get it now. Where I didn't pay attention before I received grace to pay attention. Quicken my heart, grant me understanding. I cry for the spirit of wisdom, understanding. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. I believe with all my heart that God is lifting us as individuals by not only imparting upon us grace, not only helping us to become like Him in terms of our conformity, but I believe that He's also helping us to know His ways. And this is how dominion is truly experienced. Dominion, I've always said it, it's not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of these understandings. There are so many laws in the realm of the spirit that are responsible for producing the outcomes of people's lives. And it's important to submit ourselves and meticulously study them. This will be the key. This will be the advantage over our lives and our destinies in Jesus' name. We'll walk around three scriptures today before I begin the teaching. Turn your Bible please to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I want us to just investigate a few scriptures. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Great testimonies. I am very humbled um, hearing the many great things that God is doing in the lives of people. I am more so delighted at the fact that Many of you are beginning to appreciate the excellency and the power of understanding. And I am very touched seeing how people are returning back and testifying. Not, it's not so much about the alert and etc. But um, when you walk the word and it produces results for you, then it encourages you to both believe the things you've held on to and seek to know what else you do not know that might be responsible for the next rights in the kingdom that God would desire for you to have and I believe tonight will open our eyes further 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 we're really going to examine some serious things tonight we'll be discussing 
a number of things i trust by his spirit that god will hand over to us greater access points that will give us advantages in this kingdom we rule on the strength of the advantage we have and the advantage we have is tied to our understanding of the systems of the kingdom and this is why the holy spirit is come to help us not only to anoint us empower us but give us intelligence second corinthians chapter 4 are we there verse 18 let's read together whichever your version is let's just read in concert ready one to read while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are what one more time what read on please but the things which are seen are unseen are eternal let's read it one more time if you don't mind one to read while we look not at the things that are seen but at the things which are not seen stop how do you look at what is not seen because the bible says you can look at it it says while we look at the things we look not at the things that are seen but we look at the things that are unseen this is paul the apostle talking who got his revelation directly from jesus christ are we together now the point i'm trying to communicate with this scripture is the fact that paul begins to teach the church in corinth i love paul paul is not only an intelligent person but paul paul is a good mentor he knows how to help men become spiritual Paul in this context is helping the believers to be strengthened. Remember when you read from verse 17, it says, For our light affliction, that's how that scripture starts, which is but for a moment. It says, Walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. Then 18 now says that, um, um, you know, we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? this is he hands over to us a very powerful key that will be helpful in our discussion number one he tells us there are things that are seen and there are things that are unseen then number two he describes the character of those things he says the things that we see are temporal excuse me the word temporal means subject to change another word temporal means not reliable another word temporal means not dependable are we together so let's put it this way the apostle is teaching the church in corinth and this is what he tells them while we do not look at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen in the invisible realm and he tells us why we should take our eyes away he gives us a reason he says for the things that we see he uses an expression temporal but the greek rendition there does not mean subject to change alone it means fake it means it's like a fraud what you see is a is a mirage it will change subject to change paul is opening our eyes to the frailty of the physical realm listen please paul is opening our eyes to the unreliability of the three-dimensional realm he's exposing us to the fact that no matter how solid how real how three-dimensional our physical realities are he's saying that our emphasis and our focus should be on the unseen realm because based on his advantage of understanding the systems of god he says in essence the realm of the spirit is able to superimpose upon that physical realm and to change what we now call a reality into something else second scripture romans chapter 1 verse 20 romans chapter 1 verse 20 blessed be the name of the lord verse 20 Let's read verse 20 together. Ready? One, two, read. For the invisible things uh -huh, of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. How? Being understood by the things.
things that are made even in his, his eternal power and Godhead so that we are this is a very interesting scripture it says for the invisible things in other words the physical realm was there to confirm the presence of the invisible realm and to help us it's like a compass that begins our journey into the realm of the spirit are we together now Paul is teaching the church in Rome that look in your quest to understanding the realm of the spirit you start with the physical realm for the invisible things are we together now invisible things they are a manifestation of something and they reflect themselves in the physical realm very powerful very simple but powerful scripture that controls strange results in the lives of people the invisible things of him from creation are clearly seen being understood by the things which appear so if i look at a physical reality Paul is trying to tell me that something created it something made it so and that that physical reality remains a slave to whatever made it happen that when an advantage is sustained in the spirit i can manipulate realities from the spirit that will literally not only change the state of that physical thing are we together now we are examining a few scriptures you will be so blessed tonight i want to teach you something very powerful so Paul starts by saying the invisible things. They were first invisible. And then he says that they are clearly seen, being understood. Not just by head knowledge, but we use the physical manifestations to help us explain that there are other realities in the realm of the spirit that are responsible for this formation. The last scripture hebrews chapter 11 please verse 3 specifically the b part hebrews chapter 11 the chronicle of men and women of faith hebrews chapter 11 are we together let's read one to read verse three we understand uh -huh, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now the B part, this, what you are about to read now is my verse of emphasis. Go ahead and read. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Look at this. He's telling us how things manifested. Through faith he says we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. That's the A part. Then the B part says so that the things we now see and relate with. They did not come from a physical reality. They did not come from a physical realm. They were not products of things which already appear. In other words, the things that we see now that frame our reality. Were locked up in the realm of the spirit. And through a technology, through a system. The physical equivalent of those realities were reproduced in the physical realm. Are we together now? This is, I, I, I don't know how, I, I trust God for grace tonight for you to understand this. Because brothers and sisters, this is the key to dominion. Write a few things down if you can. And then we'll begin the teaching. Um... I've said it but just for emphasis number one life and living is entirely spiritual life and living is entirely spiritual that's the first point I want you to write tonight and look at it very carefully life and living is very absolutely entirely spiritual life is not scientific no science is a borrowed system to help us interpret realities science is a system of logic that was borrowed designed by men limited by their understanding too to help us explain realities life is not sociological more than that life in its entirety is spiritual number two the spirit realm always governs the physical realm. The spirit realm 
always underline always always governs the phys- the spirit realm does not only birth the physical realm it governs it understand that realities are not only birthed from the spirit alone they are controlled they are maintained and they are manipulated from the realm of the spirit the spirit realm always governs the physical realm the meaning of that is everything you see that you describe as your physical reality today under certain circumstances can bend to a spiritual reality please listen this is this for me is really good news that i don't have to sit down and helplessly watch my life as though nothing can happen about it have you seen people say honestly there's nothing we can do about it it depends on who is talking and it depends on the spiritual resources within your disposition so if i find out for whatever reason that i am ss the bible says to cheer up why because that thing you call ss is a reflection of a reality it's a message to you that for whatever reason an aberration happened in the realm of the spirit that produced that thing and he's saying under certain circumstances realities can be manipulated in the realm of the spirit to alter what you now call your physical reality this is the advantage that men have not believers men access to the realm of the spirit and the fortitude to manipulate those realities and control the outcome of their physical environment is an advantage god gave men he didn't give believers it's an advantage that's why witches use it that's why wizards use it are we together now they they know when when now you don't have to double into those things but from because this is africa when you look at occultism and the way witchcraft works most of their emphasis is not in the physical state if they want money from your bank account they don't beg you they understand that your will the money and everything around is subject to a higher manipulation so they bring together the resources that are able to manipulates the realm of the spirit to produce the physical effects they want in that case the effect is for you to helplessly submit to whatever their proposals are but they know approaching you physically is a waste of time so they route it through the realm of the spirit and piece together all the materials that they have been taught so they program the realm of the spirit and that programming has an effect on you and you find out that you are responding you carry your whole money and go to build a house in the village and they are laughing at how helpless you are rich but disadvantaged rich but dull of spiritual intelligence are we together there are so many believers bankrupt of what to do because we have not been trained to rise up to a point where we access the tools and the resources that are responsible for supervising the outcome of our lives not being victims of the outcome but supervising that if at any point your outcome does not reflect the word of god you don't cry do you know the reason why we rejoice in the kingdom because there is an advantage there is still a way of routing realities and commanding results in the physical realm without that we are doomed this is where the prophetic becomes powerful in the ministry to the body every time they came to meet the prophet sir we're in trouble and he said ah which trouble your mind is telling you you're in trouble based on the tools i have within my reach it makes no difference whether the people are plenty or few and then he did something to them and they all became blind and he said take them somewhere let them go and eat and go back home an advantage listen your life and destiny is at the mercy 
of the understanding you have about the spirit realm alongside comprehending the tools at your disposal to produce the outcomes you desire it's not just all up to god my life listen and your life my finances my well-being is at the mercy of this understanding and the ability to piece together the tools that have been provided by the word of god to help manipulate realities until my physical outcome is consistent with the word of god he says i will overturn he didn't say i will do it physically i will do it and come and check if it doesn't i'll say no problem i go back again and do it and keep checking when i see it reflect the word of god i leave it that way many believers are products of another man's manipulating the realm of the spirit you have to understand what i'm teaching you so we become victims let me give you an instance this thing we call causes i, I, I don't want to spoil your mind but listen come sam if people die young in this family watch this sam is here now and people are dying young god forbid it's just an example in his family are we together and this guy comes and says i will not die young that dying young is a programming listen now the thing with spiritual programming is the programmer can die the code will remain are you are you getting what i'm saying now there are laws the person who did it can die it's like a car once you set it you can die and go and it will continue let me shock you it is the integrity of god himself that supervises the continuity of that process it's not that god is a witch his integrity was programmed in his laws so the factor that keeps those laws working is not satan it is the very integrity of god that's why the laws are reliable So this guy manipulated a spiritual law and cast a spell, a projection upon a family. While he was doing that, Sam was in the loins of his father. He was not there to ask whether it's my interest or not. And Sam comes. All of a sudden, that code catches up with him. Are we together now? And he finds out that people are dying like chickens. Then he sits down and says, talk. I hope my life will change if that is your response to it you will die too like it are we together now it will take spiritual intelligence first to understand the secret is not calling a family meeting and say so this is how we are going to die no somebody on behalf of that family must be able to stay with the holy ghost hear me and go back to the realm of the spirit enter that control room and say what happened what factors were invoked together that equal the death of a generation so you route it from there and make things in place and when you come down you announce to your family members is done and the fire ah, is done just like that the invisible things the things that we see the tragedies in our lives brothers and sisters is a network of many spiritual programmings we are victims of it and we don't care and we keep working there are pastors who are anointed but limitations are upon their lives and ministries they will never rise they are tongue talking but barring of a spiritual advantage there are students you go and sit down in class and you are victims of a programming you are writing your exams with your own eyes you are watching yourself go blank you shouted jesus nothing happened you prayed in tongues about nothing happened i want to show you what to do tonight oh i'm happy there is a way out oh you have to believe you don't need to know what it is yet if there is no way out then it means we are doomed let me show you the ancient mystery 
that made many to break out of many nonsense and arise. Embargoes placed upon territories. Once you are from this region, this is the limit of how far you can go. You can never get to marry a good man. It's always stupid men. And you just say, well, my life is like that. It's what you don't want that will happen. Someone tonight has to get angry and say, "Let's. We have to get to this control room. We have to see what is the what is the cause." Pover, excuse me, poverty. There are families. It's not that they are not valuable. The least person in that family is a master's holder. Yet, if it's to be a megad, he can be a megad. But you want to make him a director. Something must happen. Look at the gentleman who shared that testimony. That, that guy that used to smoke before. He got up and saw the other side of himself. Let me tell you something. If that guy was not under a covering that had spiritual intelligence, he would have died like a chicken. That's how they would have said, that's it. You know, I've seen death many times. I've seen the spirit of death. Ask it, it knows me. So we are not just we you see light makes you not to be scared of certain things because the spirit is aware that you have access. Whenever you say Satan is powerful, it's not that he has an inherent power. Satan, through experience and longevity, has been able to access as many spiritual laws. He has pieced them together and he's capitalizing on the unspirituality of men. It's not all about grammar. This realm is deep and mysterious. Deep and mysterious. People don't just make it. It's not just because you quoted scripture. No. Thank you. It's not just because you quoted scripture. Oh, I will never be poor. I'm tithing. I'm giving. No. When the Lord declared that we will triumph, it is because he's ready to release keys. To say, look, I know where you are coming from. And based on the programmings upon your life, you should not rise. But I want to show you another route. Job said there is a path which no foul knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not gotten there. God always has another system. And bail you out. Let me tell you how you know you are free. Doors just open all of a sudden within a short time. That's how you know something happened in the realm of the spirit. Not just one door. Multiple doors all of a sudden. You see people just receiving alerts. For you now, you don't know what it is that happened. You just know that different people all related are receiving the same testimony. It's a key. There is a control room for that outcome. There is. It can become your habitation. The Bible says he daily loads us. Where does he get it from? That's it there. He daily loads us. Daily. Once it's 24 hours, that law recycles. Someone must find you again to bless you. It's a law. I pray tonight that you don't take this thing for joke because your destiny depends on it. The fierceness that is in the world will require you to have intelligence. And don't let people just come and harass you. One uncle comes to sit down and makes himself the stumbling block over your destiny. It's a joke. It's a joke. The gate of my destiny already is protected by mysteries. Not even the compound, just the gate. For knocking wrongly, you pay for it. Even witchcraft nonsense, you bring it from where? Next time, don't just say, I have dominion. I have dominion. No, no. Protection, this thing you call protection. There is a system in the kingdom that protects men. Some of you are victims of anything. If someone plans to throw you down, it's only God that will help you. Because helplessly, there's nothing that covers you. Come on now. Please, I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and cry. 
for the sake of my destiny this year open my eyes open my eyes someone is praying enough is enough someone is praying you have come to the end of your road someone is praying lord i have to break out of this Never a victim, never a victim, a participant of the outcomes in my life, a participant of the realities of my life with access to changing them till they conform to the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. This, in my opinion, will be one of the most dreaded teachings that the devil will ever want you to have. Because when you find the key, then you look around. And that's how you see how help. Do you know when I excuse me? When I walk around, listen. When I look at men, come sir, sometimes tears just come down from my eyes. Do you know why? I, I look at men and I pity them. I see how helpless people are. Whatever will happen, except they are under a territory like Koinonia. Do you know many of you, the results you are getting in your life is not because of your understanding. And it looks like that's good, but you need to train yourself to that understanding. Because a day will come, you will be out of this environment. And you will need to sustain intelligence. Human beings get up and just walk like animals. No authority. No dominion. No knowledge. Look at that lady who, who spoke about a snake biting her. Do you know for someone else that's death? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow, under the shadow of your wings. I started to dance and rejoice because I knew that the outcome of my life was totally dependent on me and God. See, that's why I don't bother so much about whether people like you or not. They say it's your bad luck that is affecting me. There's no such thing as that. It is your ignorance that allowed somebody's atmosphere to react to yours. Listen, listen. In, there is a law huh? if I come to your spiritual atmosphere and I find you idle whatever is working in my life is authorized to be working because you are not doing anything are we together now yeah if I carry a course and I come to your life and there is no law that has been raised to counter it you will be a victim of it now this is what sometimes prophets see that they can turn and say your friend wants to kill you what is not that your physical friend wants to kill you is that your friend is carrying an atmosphere what the prophet saw was the law upon his head so sometimes if you are not on if you, if you don't have spiritual intelligence 
it's not like the individual got up to kill you the individual came to you with an atmosphere and that atmosphere is reacting to your life like bad luck that's why some people erroneously say this woman brought bad luck drive her out of your life are, are you getting the thing now now the truth is that that woman too was innocent but she's a victim of a programming you added ring to the programming you called her your wife and things started going haywire in your life the solution is not to drive her away the solution is to find out that every physical thing you see manifested lack of favor whatever it is is caused by manipulating realities and the key is to find out what it will take to change that do you know in ancient times prophets were dangerous people they were a compendium of mysteries if you saw them just start rejoicing your problem was over they, they literally the bible says men whom the earth was not worthy of they held something and they just watched men when elisha came he said madam what should we do to you in other words just tell me the physical outcome you need we know how to make it happen should i talk to the governor for you say no 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 i live among my own people what should i do and then Gehazi said this woman does not have a child he said ah according to the time of life no he didn't say nine months you don't know what he said he didn't say nine months the time of life is not nine months i found out that the law of reproduction that produces is tied to the time of life and he, he just attached that reality to time and says watch this happen madam brothers and sisters when you sustain spiritual intelligence you will be so powerful this is what makes men powerful someone just looks at you and says um over my dead body for you to have a child you go back panicking you really should panic if you don't know what to do about it because if you keep it will happen nobody just speaks out of ignorance especially when somebody is speaking to you from your village don't just make bold face for nothing it won't happen they are speaking on the strength of something they are announcing what they are finished we already tied your womb so in case we plan to keep it secret but since we discovered you were very foolish we just announced it that you will not have a child and you go back and say no god forbid <clears throat> you will find out that that womb is truly tied they never came physically but they know that a womb this physical thing you call a womb is only a representation the real womb is in the realm of the spirit and they tied it down put the key in their pocket and said you can go places then you come to a place like koinonia and without prayer there is a covenant that do you know this is why people just come and while prayer is going on some miracles happen the the spirits are see they know the laws that are working all through every koinonia service brothers and sisters from opening prayer to the grace is just a a manipulation of laws displacement of higher spiritual laws contending against others so you just come and find out wow no pain again i used to have that pain but you see sometimes the pain will leave you then when you go out and you're on your way going the pain will return that's a sign that something must happen permanently to you while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen sit down please for the things that are unseen listen the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen is eternal many of us just stand i want money in my bank account just like that just like that in this wicked greedy world just like that i want to get a job jobs are not coming just like that brothers and sisters who taught you it was that easy Why is it that we are always carrying bad luck in our family? Why is it that things are not working? You know, people send me a text and say, Apostle, I've, I've come to the end of it. Nothing is working. Of course, because there is nothing being engaged. 
nothing is working there are people today the moment finances enters their hand another law kicks in it's like holes in the bag everything must finish and then they come back to normal say in the name of jesus i take responsibility for creating the realities in my life say it convincingly in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that i will not allow circumstances to just happen in my life i will both dictate them and manipulate them to my advantage Listen, brothers, look at me. Say this word, establishment. Say it again. That's what most guys are looking at now. Do you know establishment is a deep mystery? I want to buy a car. I want to have a house. I want to have cash flow. And all you do is you just sit and keep shaking your head and say, I know one day go better is a joke. Is a big joke in this Nigeria where you hardly help see anybody arise to help you. You go to your uncle and say, Uncle, I'm of age. And I said, You are very stupid for even coming to tell me you are of age. Who helped me when I was your age? And they leave you there. Do you think helpers just arise like that? No, they are called. My life will never be left to chance. My life will never be left to, if God wants it, no. I am absolutely responsible for producing the outcomes of my life, for producing the outcomes of this great ministry, and everything you see is a product of an operation of spiritual laws. Many of you will come to thank God for your results, but will no longer be surprised by it. Because you have sustained mastery over producing it. Do you understand? The lady said she got six alerts. You've not seen anything yet. The six alerts is starters. What is, what is six alerts? No. It is a realm you can live in. It's a realm you can live in. The Bible says... That city, every tree delivers its fruit in its month. So there is a, a tree allocated for every month. While one is resting, another one is starting his own. That's a reality that can happen to someone. What of the anointing? What of membership? There are pastors who want membership. They criticize it. They abuse it. And they think it's just by publicity. I've told, I've told you again and again. You will, you will print and print and be tired. It's, that's not how it works. There is a mystery. Men are not idiots. They don't get up and leave their homes, climb, bike, trek, and come and stand. There are people standing outside. You see them near the wall. They are not stupid people. It's not just because you are anointed. Being anointed is not enough to bring people. No, sir. No, sir. I gave us an example one of the weeks watch this let's call this let's call this an anointing let's call this a law activated this is Sam now Sam wants to be a successful young man Sam wants to be an anointed person and then for instance he came from a background where that possibility does not exist and all of a sudden through the operation of the anointing, something comes upon the life of Sam. Watch this. Call this thing a mantle or a mandate. Now, Sam is moving around. Something has been activated. Are you seeing that now? This is the reason why creation will respond to Sam in a strange way. This thing you see that is on him is a language. It can mean bless him. It can mean curse him. It can mean honor. It can mean bad luck. 
now watch this so let's assume this thing came projected from the village hold it sam he doesn't know he's carrying something on his life promise come quickly now they all come and meet in zaria and promises with sam watch this two of you come you see they don't know what they're all carrying but i'm about to react to them based on what they are carrying i come and i bless promise and i leave sam i don't even know why a programming is compelling my physical reaction to sam you call it bad luck are we together now and something happens he goes back again and then two weeks he finds out that he fights with this guy and they have to part ways he doesn't know why he goes back and cry but he's crying and this thing is still in his life are you getting what i'm saying now now sam gets up and goes somewhere else again and this thing is speaking somebody was about to give him a job and while the man was sleeping in the night this thing caused the man to have a dream and in that dream he saw sam making his company fall and he wouldn't tell anybody sam does not know that this thing is working against him are we together he gets up in the morning and comes i'm ready for the job and the man says look young man for whatever reason i cannot give you this job and he's what did i do sir this is the journey of many people's lives this is how many of our parents are they've been carrying something for 50 years that is responsible for the pain in their lives they've been carrying something for decades born again but still carrying it some of you came to abu with this you did very well but the programming was supposed to work when you come to university not secondary school that's why you still got all your a's as soon as you got admission this programming starts there are some the programming starts at 23 at 25 once you are under that age it will not work you will just be looking at your elder ones and you'll be pitying them Hiya. why are these ladies with bad luck like this they will say you are the luckiest one keep growing the day you celebrate your 25th birthday a stranger comes in your dream and says just like i was with your sisters now my attention has come the programmer is dead but the programming is still at work hear what i'm telling you and rise free and reign as if satan does not exist he goes to ejimi ejimi please can you bless me ejimi wants to bless him but this thing is talking to him and he says do you know what i will help you have you seen people who have what it takes to help you and you wonder why they just cannot help you you and someone will come to beg you are begging for twenty thousand. the other guy is begging for three hundred thousand. they count it and give him your present he says case is a special case no sir what is on you many believers don't know this the moment they want to throw people from their job this thing starts speaking and it's your father that they came and drove away and he went bad luck woes tragic events there are others you rise to a level you will rise but when you get to a level it's like a it's like a programmed limitation the moment you get there something must happen mysteriously you will crash back right to where you started from so every time you are rising nobody stops you because they know it's a waste of time your work done will be zero after 20 years of working the moment you just finish your house one small rain will come and you come and see your house as if they use tractor is that a rain level your house just like that have you not seen people two days to dedicating their house fire catches the house and bonds you will know that this fire was supervised by somebody this fire is not just atmospheric reaction no there is a programming upon men the moment they are 40 years 45 years an average man in africa the moment he gets to 50 certain sicknesses start coming if you are less than 50 it will leave you 
The moment you hit 50, all of a sudden your legs cannot move again. They call it rheumatoid arthritis. Say, ah, but you have tried. Heart condition starts. Prostrate cancer starts. So most people are already ready for it. The moment your clock is ticking 45, 46, you're already shaking. All my father's brothers are dead. None of them, none of them died innocently in a sound sleep. They were perfected by diseases and yokes till they died. Is God speaking to someone? I'm showing you the reason behind the wickedness and the things that are happening in our lives. And please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Because whether or not you care, it will soon catch up with you. By default, every African I know has something tragic on his head. By default. When our grandfathers were dancing to masquerades, are we together? When they were dancing to masquerades, they didn't know what they were doing. They were just dancing around. And your own grandfather was a person playing drums. He was rolling and playing the drums. I agree with this covenant. You were in the loins. Now, you may say it does not matter. Don't let ignorant people fool you. I have met Jesus Christ. I've read my Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Are we together? programmings that destroy the destinies of men. I've prayed for too many people and they never rise. And you ask why. I'll never forget some years ago a pastor came in from Kaduna. Nothing was working in his life. Ministry grounded. Whatever it is, everything went bad. And all of a sudden, when he came to me, you know, he was doing all these arrogant things that pastors do. Look, I'm okay. I was seeing a demon standing behind him. You know how a shadow is. That's what I was seeing. And I was telling him, I was taking it easy just because I was not telling him what I was seeing. I said, please take it easy. No, 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 no. I don't believe this. I can't be caused. I, I said, sir, sorry. I'm just trying to explain. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you know, he got up like 15 minutes later, spat all kinds of things, dirty in my carpet, and I, just, I was just looking at him. I'm beating his foolishness. There are some of you, you are physically supposed to be responsible for the priesthoods of your area. You may not know. They've told you. You have to be a priest unto God or go back. Go back to the other side. But to be neutral is a joke. See, sisters, there are some of you marrying a man of God is God's design to bail you out. It's not so much about God wanting you to do ministry. God looked at your life and destiny and said, Kai, I have to attach you to a grace that I know is able to bail your family out. Believe what I'm telling you. This our God is a wise God. He knows how to release his help. I remember a lady who they were getting, they were going to get married. And they gave her something. She said they gave her, true story, something like a black ring. And to me, she said the ring disappeared physically. I'm holding something and it leaves my hand. That ring disappeared. you know why? Because the marriage has happened. Not to the husband. The real husband has been married. Now, this other guy will wear necktie and dance around like a fool on the wedding day and come. And find out that there are three people lying down on that bed. You will know there are three people. You want to touch his wife, you hear a slap. Pa! Listen, don't laugh. And you are asking why. And the husband is saying, I paid dowry. You don't pay dowry on a woman twice. So, before you get pregnant, he has slept with her. She has had her own pregnancy. You call it fibroid. But the demon has already put his own seed. And so your own cannot work. Are we together? You keep trying and nothing happens. And the spirit is saying you are, you are a, 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 it's a joke. And people say, don't worry, it's all right. Fibroid is something. How old are you? Did you marry when you were 31? Okay, it's all those biological things. Listen to what I'm telling you. And rise out of this disaster. Some of you are already feeling strange pains around your body. It's time to shake that nonsense out. 
and say no way satan let me inform you if it's what you brought on my sister you are bringing on me i will crush your head to pieces no crush you to pieces bible says the god of peace will soon crush satan how many people you see patterns in their family they will do introduction two weeks or three weeks to the marriage the guy will run away have you seen that happen to people run away physically a responsible person we're not talking of a smoker you went to see the uncles you did everything paid dowry did everything just for you to plan the wedding the guy will now get up and run away you will see him on the street walking like an idiot oh god what happened he has become mad by the time two or three men see that that happened to you the men won't come. let me tell you brothers are not stupid before they come to a lady now brothers are smart they will ask and say sorry the, the way you are looking at this thing do you plot this graph is it is it headed our way otherwise they will just draw back that's what makes a lot of ladies look like they carry bad luck i'm saying this thing because we are going to pray this night oh some chains must fall off your head no if i was not part of the programming i will not be a victim of the manifestation no sir no sir no sir someone cannot sit down somewhere with wickedness and program something and my life becomes a victim of it and in case someone has programmed something some people are about to pay this night let me tell you i believe in vengeance so let me tell you if you don't like it just leave that one to me receive the one that is for you but i'm telling you the bible says to declare the day of vengeance vengeance of our god many of us are too casual with our lives that's why nothing opens these spirits hate you they will kill you if they have room to so make no mistakes and think we're just in a nice very social western world no there is a warfare going on in this world you must sustain intelligence are we together failure i don't think people are so unserious it's just that these programmings destroy people Look how long it takes for an average man to be established. An average godly man. Some brothers right now, as you are seated looking at me, you are almost hopeless about your life. You don't even know, where do I stand from? Will I ever be able to rent a house? Because every door is closed. And the devil is deceiving you to say it does not matter. It does. There are families who have patterns where children are the ones who feed the parents forever. Have you seen that? Some of you come from that family. You too, you know there's no inheritance for you. Dead or alive, it doesn't make any difference as far as your breakthrough is concerned. Because there is absolutely nothing left for you. As you are, 100 level, you are fending for yourself. You even have to look for something and send back home. And they will tell you that's how it happened to us too. Some of you cannot sleep in the night because of all kinds of terror of darkness. But I'm particular tonight about this yoke that brings bad luck. You know this thing they call bad luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bad luck is real. Look at me. Look at me. If you dare laugh at what I'm telling you, you will pay for it, I tell you. Bad luck is very real. Bad luck. A negative atmosphere. Driving away every potential for your lifting. You never rise. I have worked in it, so I know it exists. And I've worked in favor too. Some of you have never seen favor in your life. I know you say I'm favored, but you have not seen it. It's a lie. Because there was no programming that is responsible for it. Have you seen people who 
have been in this area their trouble started maybe from 1996 till now their whole life has not changed they will tell you it's because a and b happened excuse me please some of our parents when they didn't get certain jobs they remain like that till today till tomorrow no open door I prayed for a couple was it last week they started building a house and all of a sudden they had a dream the same dream two of them and somebody spoke to them and said that money they are going to divert it to treat their body from that day they could not continue that house again either the leg refuses to rise or the eye is swollen or the head has a problem or there's a surgery they have to find out they, they will operate the person and forget something in his stomach Abba operate you and forget scissors forget knife is the doctor so dull it's not only two people that were operating you while they were operating a, a programming was there pushing scissors to your stomach there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain listen you had the testimony of that brother i know many of you did not understand what he was saying that he got up and saw a vision of the dead himself do you know what that means they finished seeing him in the realm of the spirit over that guy is not supposed to be alive now that's how many people are they are walking corpses they are moving but someone has already put full stop who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. The first key to manipulating realities from the realm of the spirit is strategic prophetic prayers. Write it down. Oh, prayer is a mystery. Many of you will start praying today like never before. It's not all about just spiritual growth. When you pray, you are programming. When you pray, you are, you are arranging a series of events to happen in your physical world. Prayer. James 5.16 The fervent, heartfelt, effectual prayer of the righteous man amplified that is dynamic in its working. Dynamic in its working. Listen, every time you are praying in the realm of the spirit, especially if that prayer was initiated by the spirit of God himself, not just by your normal prayer time. The Bible says, when you start praying, the Holy Ghost searches the mind of God. He finds out what is God's will for you. He knows what law that must be put in place to see that outcome. Your own job is just to pray. So you get up and all of a sudden there is an urge to pray. And the Holy Ghost searches the mind of God and finds out that your helper is about to come. But that altar wants to arise as usual. And all of a sudden, you rise up and start programming. Your prayer will soon collide with somebody. And a spirit is coming. He's still coming. As soon as he comes, like a ballistic missile. No one ever resisted him. He will always come and destroy men. But this time around, while he was coming, he met a man with intelligence. He met an altar being raised in the place of prayer. Let them laugh at you. You are creating your realities. You are creating your realities. Help them, please. Let them laugh at you. You are programming your realities. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? 
the kind of deliverance that will happen here tonight i know there's miracle service next week we can't wait someone's destiny must be released this night pay attention to what i'm telling you there are lives that will never rise till some things are in place don't don't please don't let people deceive you this is your destiny prayer 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 one mystery that helps you reprogram realities number two write it down the second mystery that reprograms your reality is the mystery of sacrifice write it down sacrifice psalm 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant by sacrifice i hear the chains listen listen i use sacrifice to break out of certain cycles in my life are you hearing what i'm saying this is what men of god are supposed to teach very well people it took sacrifice to put your family in that captivity let me tell you sincerely under the god of heaven it will take sacrifice to bring you out there is a kind of sacrifice the bible says david solomon took a thousand bond offering slaughtered them and was spilling blood what was he changing he did something and god came in the night and said you called me you called me oh i have to come you called me solomon what should happen sacrifice is an incense that arises in the realm of the spirit i'm talking of what will cost you not all this please i'm not asking you to give me money but i am showing you how people have come out of strange situations there was a king in the bible the bible says the nation of israel came to capture them it was obvious they were going to kill him he carried his firstborn son and slew him the bible says an indignation rose to heaven they could no longer fight you are seeing your victim you can't kill him sacrifice there are many believers there are, the money god gave you now is not your prosperity it's for your bailout your prosperity has not yet come what god gave you is supposed to bring you out of trouble you kept it and you are buying jeans frying your hair and buying this whereas you should be bailing your life out let me tell you something i saw certain things happen in my family financially i said this thing will not happen in my life i cannot begin to tell you what sacrifices that open the heavens even over this ministry you are seeing koinonia enjoying open heavens recession or not you are enjoying it. it's not just like that there are mysteries being engaged that open the heavens if you are unwilling to sacrifice to part with something in order to reprogram a reality in the realm of the spirit get set to suffer i'm not necessarily talking of finances sacrifice it can be a sacrifice of praise not just a sacrifice of money i told you the other day that the lord told me to dance like a madman for two hours try it and think it's easy i'm not a dancer be jumping foolishly for two hours it's not called a celebration of praise a sacrifice you are crying but you are still dancing that's all god will ask you to do and reprogram something are you hearing what i'm saying now there are some of you god will wake you and just say sing and dance no sleep night vigil your night vigil is a night vigil of praise and dance you are too big to dance you are too big to pray so you are too big to come out of that course the yoke will sit down on your head and keep disgracing you there are some of us is the sacrifice of honor the sacrifice of honor listen let me tell you why stealing money in the house of god is very bad if you've never known let me tell you this watch this you saw that a lady came and dropped 
some amount here. I'm not saying you should drop money, but let me teach you something. If I carry a seed, for instance, and I give a man of God, I didn't give him money. I carried my trouble and I gave his covenant. Listen, let me tell you how people carry trouble. God, that man has entered a covenant with God that has surmounted certain levels of trouble. When you carry your seed, your seed is a tray. The trouble is what is on it. That's the part you don't see. Thief, hear me. Those who are stealing money in the house of God, not coin on your All these people who work in finance departments that loot money and just put it and run away, they don't know what they are doing. You look at this, you call it 1,000. No, this is an expectation of someone. Is that not what was on the gift of Naaman that he brought? Gehazi didn't see it. Gehazi stole it and he said, ah, ah. Gehazi, you have carried leprosy. The leprosy left Naaman, but he was still there. That you don't see it does not mean it's not there. This is something many people don't know. So when you see somebody cook a nice food for a man of God, think, ah, what are they doing? People are carrying their sorrow. And they land it and say, Lord, as this man is eating my food, whatever covenant built him out, see, it's called sacrifice. When it was time for Isaac to bless his sons, he said, make me uh, 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 venison. You think he was hungry? He was activating a law. Was his wife not there? You, a male, make me venison. My soul needs to be gladdened. I want to release something on you. You see that? The same way, if I give you 1,000 Naira, you will only be foolish to think I just gave you 1,000. I didn't give you 1,000. I gave you a possibility. Many people have collected money from anointed men and their lives did not change. I'm not saying you worship it. There are people who sometimes they come and I just remove 1,000 Naira I put and they say, no, I won't collect. And I say, these people don't even know what they are doing. I'm not giving you 1,000. What can 1,000 do? I'm priming a reality for you. I'm transferring something to you that if you carry with understanding will change your life. But all we do is we don't receive the blessings. We think the blessing is the money. Then you go and give somebody in his shop and say, give me yam. You are eating 100 Naira yam and you come back two weeks and find out that person's shop has changed. He doesn't even know what happened. He just knows he got money that day. He got more than money. This is how people rise in the kingdom. Some can't explain it. They just know they met somebody. They don't know what they met. Other people, their trouble started because they met somebody. Somebody laid hands on you and your destiny disappeared. Laid hands on you, took your wisdom, took your glory, took your grace, took everything and left you with shame. I prayed for, there is a gentleman, I think he will come one of these days, he may even be listening to me. The guy said there were people who were involved, they were involved in all these gay things so that they would give him money for school. And I told him, I said, there is no stupid man who sleeps with another man and says it's for nothing. Whether he knows why or not, the Lord does not care. It's a system. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Whether the, the boy is getting his school fees from it, but he doesn't know what else they are taking. Satan is not stupid. He's a smart businessman. If Satan gives you 100 Naira, he took 1 million. I assure you. Do you see that it is when these obstacles give way, then your life will start rising. Your life does not just rise like that. Look at our parents. They went to school. They were women leaders. Fellowship leaders, their lives didn't change. Will you continue like this or will you insist? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. The moment God places a need, sacrifice in your heart. Brothers and sisters, don't sit down frowning as if God is taking from you. No. You're tithing. That's why I encourage people to tithe. Most people think pastors are playing. Let me show you something. We are going to pray. Hebrews 7, please. 
we'll read from verse 7 downwards let me show you something that happens when you type oh i wish it could be projected but if, if it cannot that's all right hebrews hebrews what seven fine watch this and without all contradiction the less is blessed of the better we're reading on verse eight here it says and here men that die did what receives tithe but dear received them of whom he witnessed that he lives watch this so you are here giving tithe and the bible is saying in the realm of the spirit something is being hap is happening too you are doing something physically here but there another thing is happening too you are giving tithe and the bible is saying you are bringing it to jesus your high priest your melchizedek and he's bailing you out of something but the devil told you to eat it you carried it and you ate spaghetti with it and you you ate away your next level and you thought it doesn't matter are you seeing how disobedience has landed many of us in hot water sacrifice i will give you the third one and we'll pray seriously There are people here i believe in my heart that throughout this week god is going to give instructions that this praise and dance instruction is still going to come to people low. there are people who are still going to hear it psalm 149 let the high praise of god be in their mouth and a double-edged sword in their hands you are about to use dance to remove the head of somebody a lady used dance if she came physically to fight but she danced before a king and the king said what do you want and she went to herodias say remove the head of this man a prophet notwithstanding his head still went it's a principle brothers and sisters when you are dancing and moving your body before god you think you are dancing before him no you are doing something to your destiny this kind of dance is not the one you look at yourself is the one you sweat like a fool that's why you do it in secret because it's too ugly the presence of people will make you feel uncomfortable it's not all these organized things you are no you are locking yourself lord i am dancing unto my king the warrior the captain the one who is reprogramming things and you are singing praises and dancing and while you are dancing visions of the pain of your family are coming to you and you are dancing and god is saying it's me you are dancing to let me arise as a god of vengeance brothers and sisters there is a dimension of god i have seen it's called vengeance you see me tell you this thing god can avenge men luke 18 verse 1 downward avenge me my adversary they have cheated me because i didn't know the laws avenge them he said the man neither feared god nor men but because of the importunity the woman forced him he avenged her avenge me the level of prosperity i should have entered but you kept me down avenge me five children i should have had but now i've had only one because you were barren for eight years before one came with pain god the avenger of men provoked through the operation of kingdom principles the third key that changes situations is prophecy write it down prophecy is powerful when done properly prophecy prophecy they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore none say yet this is one of the benefits of coming to the house of god listen let me tell you if the devil robs you of the house of god he has cheated you please hear me those inside and outside you are not doing god a favor when you come to his house you are coming to a platform where prophecy can be available to intercept with something in your life for three days they didn't find a donkey they said there is a holy man of god let's go to him when they went to him he said rise up and i will come and tell you what is in your heart 
he said the donkey you have been looking for watch how prophecy changes things you have been looking for it i place a prophetic word on it it has been found number two on your way back you are going to see two men three men carrying bread two of them will salute you and give you the bread three you will go to a garrison of the philistines and the hand of god will come upon you let it be that when these three signs happen you will do as occasion serves you for god is with you in other words levels have changed something has happened you see people will tell you they went and something didn't happen they, then they came for one koinonia service then they went back you never go back after any service the same i'm opening your eyes you see just like today now you are going to live with something it's just that you are not paying attention to how your environment starts treating you are we together sister it is the will of god for you to triumph this year my brothers hear me it is the will of god for you to triumph this year and any force that wants to remain and keep you must give way it must give way you are not negotiating it must give way i told you that i have sensed this in my spirit that there are people here who are at the edge of the next level just a little guidance prophetic guidance like i'm doing and it will break out of some levels that even your loved ones will call you and say come i know you are serving god but i don't what is the meaning of this thing what are you doing what is it that you are doing then you will know that god did not lie when he said it is your year of triumph then you will give him thanks he said thanks be to god you are asking God for a job whereas he wants to open a gate for you. A gate. A gate. A gate, brothers and sisters, not a job. A gate, not a job. You are asking God for marriage whereas he wants to open your destiny. Marriage is too small. These three things are available here this night. The grace to pray and reprogram yourself sacrifice and then a prophetic word it took one man for sin to come to the world it took one man for negativism to be programmed in your life it will take a prophetic word but you see not just every prophecy every man speaks according to the measure of grace available it says whatever we do we should do according to the measure of grace so if i do not have the grace to set you free I can pray it but it will not happen it's not that i'm not anointed the grace is not enough whenever i am praying for people you see me pray i tell you that i'm not praying to you just from my faith that okay i prayed the word level no we use another mystery to assure the result it's called your covenant my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you, oh God. My praise is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, take my praise, calling you. Let me tell you a little story. Hold on. You see this thing I'm wearing? I went for a meeting in Lagos. And a particular gentleman who is a fashion designer trusting god for a new level he just saw me and measured me like that on the stage and went back with his wife and sold it in 24 hours requested from the pastor that they would see me he came with his wife and said man of god we made you a cloth and i was just laughing i said this guy's life will change like day and night brothers and sisters i'm not lying he did reach one week somebody gave him three million nothing happens by itself everything is provoked you do nothing you get nothing hear me help that guy you do nothing you get nothing period it's as simple as that you do nothing you get nothing you sit down and watch life you don't get anything from it anointing will not just come to your life just because 
you think you are around koinonia breakthrough will not just come it is provoked we are going to do these three things this night i want you in the next five to ten minutes you are going to blast in tongues until every spiritual roof over your life gives way hey. lift your voice and pray
reassign you. Be open. Oh, door of favor. Be open. Gates of breakthrough. Be open. So God don't break it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Listen, say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to spirits, I speak to covenants, I speak to altars. Holding my life, holding my destiny by the covenant of the blood, release my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. I command the release of my destiny. I command the release. Of my breakthrough, I command the release of my life. So for the photo break it. Shake it, take it, take it. Reboto so to break it. Le prata so to break it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus Every physical reality Reoccurring in my life That I do not like Whatever programmed you In the realm of the spirit I cancel that programming now Lift your voice and pray The spiritual programming Responsible for unfavorable outcomes, bad luck, wickedness. I break you. I stop your function. Pray your way. Pray your way to the next level. Pray your way out of recession. Pray your way to power and dominion. I tell you fire is burning in this place Say in the name of Jesus I declare That any element of the supernatural That has been hijacked By darkness And is being manipulated Against my destiny I come with the rod of a higher priesthood And I destroy you now Lift your voice and pray. So pata kata kata kata. She make it take it to the cross. So pray. The constellations, the stars, the water, every element of the supernatural that has been used to manipulate my destiny. I break your power. I stop your operation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm about to minister to you. I tell you, if I if God shows you what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And the way doors are opening up. When you force it, it will open. Help those under the anointing. You see people getting their deliverances. Strange miracles being released. Hallelujah. 
Say in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual and human agent who is in partnership with any spiritual law to fight me this night I release judgment on you. Lift your voice and pray. I command judgment. I command judgment. I command judgment. I provoke judgment. I command judgment. I invoke judgment upon anyone in partnership, in fraternity, with the powers of the heaven to walk against my life. I provoke judgment. May the God of vengeance arise tonight. in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus oh at hear the word of the Lord oh winds hear the word of the Lord I decree I declare to every element of the supernatural bring my breakthrough bring my blessings Bring my favor. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I speak to the earth. The prophet said, For out of it comes bread. I provoke my portion. I provoke my portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Hear what I'm saying and pray it with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I speak to my helpers. Every law stopping you from coming to my help I release you now manifesting my destiny lift your voice and pray I release you every helper over koinonia every helper over my destiny every helper over your destiny I release them Let's pray one last prayer point and then I'll begin to prophesy over your life. Say in the name of Jesus covenants associated with my family every altar associated with the pain of my family tonight as an ambassador I stand on behalf of my loved ones and I cancel those ordinances lift your voice cancel it ordinances of death ordinances of bad luck Ordinances against my loved ones, stopping the 
their rising, stopping their triumph, stopping their shining. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, raise your hand. Just raise your hand and be silent. Just a keyboard. Please raise your hand if you can. Just be silent. right now, stretching my hands. I'm seeing many padlocks in the realm of the spirit. All padlocks. All padlocks. And I'm about to speak to them now. That's somebody's destiny being opened. Now in the name of Jesus, everyone here who is represented in the vision that I've seen, let your destiny open now. I command deliverance. Deliverance to your destiny. I open it. Soto, soto. I open it. I open it now. I open it now. Inside, outside, online, I open it now. The yoke of bad luck, repeated cycles of misfortune over anyone here. You may not know it, hear me, but if there is anyone carrying a negative yoke that is commanding everything around you to be negative. I see fire coming on a few people. Is a massive deliverance that will happen now. At the count of three, may the fire from the throne room locate such a one and burn off those shafts right now. One, two, three. Right now. Right now. Right now. Sokoto Sabada. Inside, outside. The fire from the throne is falling on destinies. Falling on destinies, bad luck, misfortune, bad luck, misfortune, it must come to an end. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat this after me and then just be silent. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, visit negative patterns, repeated patterns in my life now. Just keep quiet. Just keep quiet. That's the instruction. Just keep quiet and watch what happens now. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, Lord, inside and outside, break patterns, break patterns, break patterns, break patterns, repeated patterns, repeated patterns. My God, my God, I, I see, I see, I know this is the vengeance of God. Patterns you may not know, but you are under an atmosphere and an unction that is about to change your life. Break patterns, break patterns, oh God. Hallelujah. God wants to use you. The Lord wants to deliver fathers. Not mothers, fathers. But he wants to use you here. The Lord is showing me there are at least between 31 
to 41 people fathers right now with negative things on their head god is going to use you as a point of contact lord let your power move to those ones 41 i place that word in the realm of the spirit now in the name of jesus i place that word in the name of jesus if it comes upon you there's something in your family if it once it comes on you just know there's something in your family if you have never known it know it now if that fire lands on your head there is something in your family that is giving way no you can't escape it except it's not on your parents if it is on them it must be visited now the vengeance of the god of israel inside outside inside outside that sword of vengeance There is a sister here the fire of restoration is landing on you now there is a sister is coming from heaven strong restoration of your spiritual life strong restoration of the operation of favor in your life whatever happened to it is over it's coming afresh now coming afresh now coming afresh now every negative voice that speaks to your spirit and misleads you making you believe it is the spirit of God I challenge right now every antichrist voice masquerading as the voice of the spirit giving you instructions every negative voice masquerading as the holy ghost speaking to you giving you instructions that are activating wrong laws in your life i command judgment on those spirits now hallelujah just be patient with me we're rounding up I, I tell you the liberty the liberty that I see in the realm of the spirit even me I'm satisfied I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing satisfied with what I'm seeing very very strange breakthroughs what is left for you now is to await the physical manifestation remember I told you it's always in the realm of the spirit you just thought you fell no keep watching you will soon see dimensions of breakthrough that even you you will not be able to account for some of you will start make sure you testify many of you from tomorrow you will hear your loved ones even things they didn't discuss with you they don't know what happened but you know what happened to them i prophesy over your life carry favor Carry favor from the realm of the spirit. Let there be a release of favor passing through the hands of men into your life in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I've not prayed for students writing exams. People have been sending me text messages I'm not happy with. Let's change some things now. Every mistake you have made in your exams that is reflective of your humanity, that is reflective of your carelessness, from the realm of the spirit, we correct it now. From the realm of the spirit, we correct it now. Anyone here who has been going blank in the exam hall, Shabata Katoto Basile Ketabaria, Rakataska Labra Hesaka Debala Dava Kashi Pradia, 
I command that blinding spirit. I command it to leave your mind now. Hear me? From tonight, may you have dreams and see your questions. I release it to you. In the name of Jesus, advance revelations by the Spirit. Over your most difficult exams, you will see them before you write them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here who has not testified and has clapped for others while they testify, I give you now till miracle service. As surely as the God of heaven lives, by Friday, as surely as God lives, return with a strange testimony. Believe me, return with a strange testimony. Whatever has refused to work in your life, I force it now to start working. You hear me? Whoever has despised you because of something on you that kept making people despise you, I place something else on you and I command that shame and reproach be rolled away from your life. One more time, I place something on you. It's an unction, it's a grace. And with it, I roll away shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here's a little instruction for us. Don't miss miracle service. From now till Friday please make sure you take at least even if it is 10 to 15 minutes every day praise and rejoice and dance before God do this thing I'm telling you just do it be obedient people don't be foolish you don't have to be the one to sing go and get uh, um, get whatever it is and you don't have to dance in the presence of people around if your room is not convenient, try one bush somewhere. Stroll around. Prayer department on Tuesday. Take out some time. Even if it's 30 minutes, you people should dance before God. Huh? Dance on behalf of the house for miracle service before God. Rejoice as if you are out of your mind before God. This is what I want you to do. Please. Listen, I want you, if you can, to write your prayer request. All I want you to do every day is place it on the ground and dance your life before it. Please, Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. I love you and I want you to experience results. I will not tell you what I'm not doing. Write it down. You can write it this night. No job, no marriage, bad luck, no breakthrough. For your loved ones who are spiritually sensitive and they will not laugh at you, tell them this is an instruction. They should do it. If both of you, if two or three of you are believers and you love God and you believe in yourselves, you can do it together. Anyone that is doing big manism here, I tell you that's the person who will never see any results. All this big manism, big manism is why people don't get results. Are we together? Dance before him. If you can do it in the night, that's a best time for you. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or as the Holy Ghost instructs you, dance before him. Do you know what you are doing? You are mocking Satan. You are literally, literally mocking the devil. The Bible says in Psalm 2 that the Almighty will sit on his throne and laugh first. After that, he will now execute vengeance. You are dancing forget about the problem remember we just read that whatever we see can change so write it down ss write it down if you let your aunties participate no pregnancy write it down i finished school 10 years ago no job don't start saying lord see my genius have job that, that's a stupid thinking don't let that spirit of bitterness come let me give you a little precaution 
This prophecy has been declared in the open now. Satan will orchestrate people to annoy you. Hear me. Hear what I'm telling you. The devil will orchestrate people to annoy you. Some of you, as you are going back now, you will see things that will kill your joy. Some of you is in your home, right in your home. Your husband, your wife, your children, even yourself. Some of you will hear a foolish report. Just know that's the devil trying to rob you of what must manifest this week. We are agreeing with God. The moment a thing provokes your spirit, just laugh it away. Laugh it away. I know it's painful, but laugh it away. You can be crying in your spirit, but don't let the devil see your tears this week. This week is a week of joy. Provoke yourself. Somebody calls you and says, it will not work. Just like you said, that rent, we, I thought you prophesied that it will happen this week. The rent is no longer coming. Don't worry. Laugh. They call you at your job place and somebody wants to come and harass you and make nonsense and rubbish. Don't worry. Laugh. Enter your room. Lock your door. And, and laugh at the devil like a fool. I mean laugh literally. And dance before God. Dance before God. Celebrate him and dance before God. You may be sweating. I know there is heat. But dance before God. Let the sweat keep coming. After, Don't prophesy. Don't do anything. Just dance before God. Next day, carry your request again. Dance before God. On Tuesday, prayer department. After you pray, take out time. Dance on behalf of the house. Let's see the power that will stop you from triumphing this week. This third month, it will not finish all before you have your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. We wave it to you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You are the one who has given us access to light. You said the kingdom is for little children. We are doing things that look very childish. We are doing things that look very stupid, very immature. But Lord, in this foolishness, you have hidden the wisdom of God. In this supposed ego stinking activities, you are producing dimensions of glory that will cause the ears of men to tingle. Please put your hands down. Now you are here. Our time is gone. Keep standing everyone. You are here and you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Inside, outside. These realities that we release by the Spirit are meant for Christians. Born again serious believers. In case you are here this night and you are saying, Man of God, my ways are not right with God. I have never truly made a genuine decision for him. Or you are saying, please let me have your attention. You are saying, man of God, at one point I made a decision for Jesus. But as it stands right now, I'm not right with God. Can you pray for me? Yes, I want to pray for you. Wherever you are, inside, first overflow, second across the road and online. Wherever you are, make your way right now. I want to pray with you. We have one minute for this. Don't sit back thinking and don't be ashamed. Let's encourage them as they come. Wherever they are, God bless you. Start coming. Start coming. You come and stand here. He's not the only one. I believe there are still more people outside. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. Quickly, come. Quickly, come. The Lord began to talk to you since from beginning of the service. He doesn't have to do a special one now. Come. You are standing on behalf of your family. You are standing on behalf of your destiny. You can fake it with men, but not with the realm of the spirit. Come, young and old, make your way. Please, if you are coming, hurry up. Encourage them if anybody is coming from your end there. And don't stop them. Don't pinch anybody and stop them back. Let them come. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. I love every one of you. You are coming to make a genuine decision for Jesus. Join us. Join us. Those coming from outside, if you are still running, just come. It's not too late. Lift your right hand and say after me sincerely, 
join them lift your right hand say after me sincerely you are talking to the god of heaven now say lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i'm sorry for the way i've lived my life i declare this night that you are my lord you are my savior my life belongs to you i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i move forward ever and backward never keep the hands lifted father this ones have declared unto you sincerely from their heart i agree with them and i decree and declare oh god that you accept this ones turn their lives around in the name of jesus may they begin to experience your grace and your glory by the power of the holy spirit let the lines fall for you in pleasant places and may you have a goodly heritage i bless you i bless you with love for god i bless you with passion for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen thank you for standing here i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details please politely walk with them give them your details and you'll be back to your seat in the name of jesus we believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information you can visit us on facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia TNT Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore airline You can also download our messages on www.forshared.com TNT Network International duplicating the fullness of God's life and earth